this won't do They put me in the picture But the film turned blue A glimpse of you Trying to tell me A head full of brand new words And a mouth full of shots You're a big boy now With face to stop clocks Trying to tell me School report. Mr. Flanagan, my probation officer. He's looking for something I'm good at. Poor oh, son. It'll take him ages to find any. Aha. Uh -huh. It says here that you're excellent at drama. At what? Drama. What's that? Oh, come on, Francis. Acting. Acting? Well, I've never done any of that. Do I look as though I wear a bra? Well, it says here, quite categorically. Who said so? Mrs Heath. Oh, she took us for English in the second year. She never took us for no acting, no. We don't have acting in our school. It's a Catholic school, you see. It's not allowed. Not even at Christmas. Well, they have a pantomime for the juniors, but it's last. It's not even funny or nothing. It's got to be bad, hasn't it, when eight-year-olds throw things at you and try and burn the curtains down. Last year, you refused the star part in Dick Whittington. Ah, go away, will you? Two years ago, you turned down the male lead in Little Red Riding. Who wants to be the big bad wolf? And three years ago, you were in the school pantomime. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? No, nope, never heard of it. What is it, a sex film? You were happy. No, I wasn't. I was fed up the same as everyone else. But you were one of the dwarfs. No. Actually, I was Snow White. Seriously. Grumpy, my dear. Why are you always so sad? I mean, you know, can you imagine? Look, Mr. Flanagan, it's all right. I was a dwarf. But you're wasting your time with the acting. It's only for the birds. I've grown up now. I've told Mrs. Eat the same. I am not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Come on. You're going to dribble your life away. Throw all your talents down the drain. That is, if you really have got any. I've got talents. Tell me about it, then. Now, you'll only laugh. People usually do. No, really. You can tell me anything. What is this confession?
You can tell me anything in confidence, Francis. Anything. Providing, of course, it isn't a criminal offence. Sometimes, you know, he's so close to you, you can see the blackheads in his chin. Can I go now? I've just remembered. We got double physics this afternoon. Don't like missing double physics. You can go. Well, you've told me what you think you're good at. Yeah, well... I want to be a professional footballer, don't I? What are you looking at? So you want to be a footballer, are you, man? I suppose I'm going to have to tell you. I've got this problem, you see. No, really. What it is, is that I, I keep seeing things. But it's not like... Well, it's not like having daydreams or imagining things. Like... Like going like that. Oh, I hate tea bags. Anyone can do that. And I'm doing it all the time. See, but what's really worrying me is... I haven't got any control over seeing Kenny Daglish. I haven't. He just keeps being there. Do you think it might be in love? Doesn't say too much here about your footballing abilities. Yeah, well, it wouldn't, would it? Not what our PE teacher. He thinks a left wing is something to do with the I don't wish to party. hear about your teacher's There's only one opinion. decent teacher, and that's Francis, Steve. He's great. He's going to get a I think that's got enough from you. Thank you, Scully. But I've only just come to the good bit. So you don't want to hear about Steve, then? No. Be that as it may, I would like to bring you back to drama. You'd need a ball and chain to bring me back there, pal. Mr. Flanagan. Yeah, all right. Can I go now, Mr. Flanagan? Yes, you can go now. Back to double physics. And make sure your attendance improves. Francis. Here it comes. It's all for the day. About the football. You know, don't build your hopes up. The failure rate is... Yeah, so everyone keeps telling me. But it's important. You know that, son? See what I mean? Dreams alone aren't enough. Soft kicks. Sing your song. C come on, baby, light my fire. Uh -huh. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby. I, I don't know anymore. That'll do. Wanna go? Leave me alone, Kelly. What? Deaf as well as daft, are you? But I mean, what's it got to do with you? I said leave him alone. But he's only a loony from a silly school. No, I'm not. I'm just a bit slow. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby. <laughs> My boy, fire! I won't tell you again. Get off. Next, please. <laughs> That's not fair, Skull. I was next. Ball drop just right, Skull. And I hit it on the trolley. Molly. Yeah, yeah, that as well. And it went right to the top corner of the net. Goalie beaten all the way. Yes. Crack it up, now. 
The Jimman? Uh, no, we got beat 1 0, but their team manager said it was the best goal hey, he'd listen, ever man, seen. Listen, I want to ask you something. Uh, I'd like to lend you some money, Skull, but I haven't got any. No, no, it's not that. What I want to know is, what would you say if I told you to kept seeing Kenny Dagleish? Yes. I think I'd ask you if I could meet him as well. But what would you say to me if I told you to kept seeing him? And he wasn't there. He wasn't there. I'd, uh, I'd say, yeah. Uh, Say goodbye, Scott. No, no, listen.